Not I all see, the time. Oh my god, I'll hate this too. <laughs> Don't get all shy now, all of a sudden the camera's on. Hey. Hello. Look who I have. I promised you guys that we would do a Valentine's Day challenge, and that is what we're doing right now for your entertainment. I saw my girl Kamakana. Kamakana, if you're watching this, love you. She did this Valentine's Day challenge on her Facebook, so I thought it would be fun to do it ourselves. But in video form, because she did it in a status on Facebook, but I thought it would be fun to do it <sighs> in a YouTube video. So here we go. There's quite a few questions, so this will be interesting and fun. Here's our story. First question, how did we meet? You go. No, you go. I gotta put these lashes on. <laughs> How did we meet? Oh, well, how many? Reasons. How many years ago? Oh my gosh! Oh, I don't know. It was a long time ago. <laughs> 2016. Yeah, five, five years ago. Um, the very first time. Very first time. That was okay, at I'm a Hala Bay, right? No. That was a Hala Bay no. Airport Hotel. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 See, I'm the one that remembers. I, I keep remembering the airport time. That was a different time. I smile when I think about it. It's so cute. First time we met was Honolulu Airport Hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one is quarterly. Yeah, we usually have our quarterly halabai, and me and her was in the same group. She's I would friends. say the the year after, or two years. No, after. no, that summer. No, it was not that. Because summer. it was Ahanukia that same year. No, but it wasn't. Oh, well, what are you talking about? When we um kind of clicked. It's a year after. I would say Ahanukia that year. No, it wasn't that one though. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't that year one. Well, I think you should be friendly to me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> She's being friendly back though. Well, no, I wasn't. Yes, you were. And then it wasn't until the following year that we would do our once a year halibai in Hilo. During the summer. During the summertime. It was the last night. And, uh, you know, the last wasted night, all that time. <laughs> the last night we paina, you know, we launa, we get to know each other and yeah. we, we, we went launa. During that, okay. Not that kind of launa. Yes, oh Not that kind of launa. <laughs> During that week we were kind of talking. We weren't really talking. Talking. And it was funny because his Honua Kula, his mm -hmm. school, the way that our, how, how would you explain that? We sit in a circle. So when we have Ohana group times or family group times, we sit according to the genealogy of the school. Or to so the time period of when each school opened. Yeah. And his school just so happened opened after my school, which mm -hmm. means that our two schools, our groups, sat next, right next to each other. So, you know, <laughs> he would always try and come sit by me and try and make small talk and you know. What year did your school open? 91. Oh, we opened two years after. Yeah, 93. The work meeting that we had in 2016 at Airport Hotel was when we initially met. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. No, I, you read it. I need to put this flash on before it dries. I don't want to spend too much time on each question because there's a lot of questions. Okay. First date, you. Let's test your memory. Uh, oh yeah. That was to Jens. Jens and? To the movies. Okay. What movie? Um, Drunk Girls. <laughs> what was it? it? Had Drunk Girls in it. <laughs> um, what was the, I can't remember the name. Party Girls. <laughs> they, they did party. Is it girls? <laughs> It's something good, yeah. right? Girls trip. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Yeah, girls trip. She didn't like it. Of course. Hello. I'm not one for like party party movies and where they act stupid. I'm like, one for comedy. I love comedy. Yeah, but that's stupid comedy. That I'm that's not into that. Kind. I see it like this. If my kids can't watch it, I ain't watching it. How long have you been together? 2016? No. We weren't like official. Well, I would say since 2017. Yeah, like relationship status wise? Dating from 2017. No, 2018. I don't know, you're the one who said you were you the one with a date. 2018. So. We started dating in 2018, 2019, and then in 2020 we got married. So we dated for about a year, year and a half, and then we got married. Mm -hmm. Married? Yes. Was that March, the question? March 3rd, 2020. So we got married. Oh, that was a question. Next. Um, it was not March 3rd, 2020. Yes, it was. 3 3 2020. That was when we were married. We did not get married just last year. Yeah. We celebrated our first our first year married last year. This would be our second 2019. year. 2019. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We did not sure. Not the one that's with the dates anymore. No, I huh? caught myself. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Who sure. is taller? Me. Me. I'm taller, you know it. By like this much. Not not by much. I'm so taller. Say. Who said I love you first? Him. Okay. I remember that night, honey. Okay, we did long distance. Would not recommend. 
Okay. I mean, it grows you. It what? It grows you. Yeah. It makes you stronger. It grows you. You know, we're in Hawaii, so it's not too bad. I mean, a plane ride from an island is maybe like 30 minutes, 45 minutes max. Hour maybe, depending on where you're coming from. But I was right next door on Molokai. How long did that go on? At least for a year. At least for a year of flying back and forth. Every weekend. Every weekend. Getting hotel. Hold on, hold on. Every weekend for almost a year, I would fly right after work, finish 3 34 o'clock, boom, on a plane at 4 35 o'clock. His mom works at the hotel, so you know, she had to hook up with the discounts, and we would pretty much just staycation there every weekend. How we got money to do that? Beats me. Beats me. I don't know. Well, we never had any Gosh. rent to pay or electricity or anything. Yeah, and I mean. But still. Hotel every weekend, paying for an airfare, and then have to. Every, we would go eat buffets. Every weekend. weekend, guys. Every weekend. Yeah. Would this be a lifestyle that I would recommend to my daughter? Absolutely not. I mean, everything. I mean, y'all already know we'd be having sex too, okay? We ain't gonna get into that conversation. Anyway, what was the question? Who said I love you first? Who said I love you first? Yeah, so that night, he said it. I was flying back to Malthay. We were at the airport, and it was so hard. No! Was that the night? I think that night you asked to court me. Yeah, The I... night you told me I love you was when you were dropping me off at his house. I was over a weekend and you were dropping me off at his house. Yeah. Yeah, and I was, I didn't want to leave, obviously. I didn't, I didn't want to go, and then he just said, hey, and I was bawling my eyes out, I was crying. Because I didn't want to leave. Oh yeah, you're, you're getting yeah. out of the car and yeah. then I pulled you, you back in. Yeah, and then he said, hey, get it like this. He said, his head, my head was like this, and you turn. And he said, I feel like Kavanaugh. I love you. Is this Kavanaugh's like, view? From, <laughs> oh my god, I'll hate this too. <laughs> That's what he said. That's how he said it. That's how he said it. So yeah. He said it first. Most ah. impatient. Me. I right, hands down, man. I'm just like. <laughs> Especially when it comes to cleaning stuff. Oh my mm. head, man. It just happened today too with plate on the couch. You're walking to the kitchen and I'm like, honey, you're on your way to the kitchen. I'm more anal with the bathroom. Hey. The plate with you to the sink. What am I gonna do? I'm that has nothing yeah. to do with me being patient, but that's part of me not having patience. <laughs> I, I I am. I will I will say that yes. You know, for guys, that's our escape. What? The bathroom. That's where we have our privacy. Sure. I'll give you that. I'll that's all we have to keep it clean in there. It's like our second room. <laughs> most uh, most sensitive. You. Both equally sensitive. I think you. I would say you. Yeah. I would say you, but then, but then me too. I feel like. Oh, no, I would say we're both equally sensitive. I feed off of you, and you feed off of me. True. That's the problem. That's, that's we just go back and forth, bounce yeah. back and forth like that. So we both. <laughs> Who's the loudest? When you mad? Oh. You. <laughs> it's only because I'm trying to shout over you. <laughs> so, on a day to day, I guess I would say yeah, me. I have a big mouth. I love to talk, but I know when to shut up. Okay, so give me that. Yeah, I am the lowest. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. I don't know what's what center. Most stubborn. You. That's you. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> but you know, not. I, I, I will. I'll agree to disagree. How's that? Okay, okay. That's fine. Um, falls asleep first. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just point at I me? Said it to me. No. <laughs> I thought you said. No, I no, no, no. Once my head is the pillow, I'm out. Okay. Where are we? Okay. We're stubborn, fancy first. Cooks better. You he know. just takes a long time. But the food is good. Well, yes and no. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll give you that. But I'm just like, honey, Who cooks with it shouldn't time? take you that long to chop an onion. Like, it really shouldn't. Food is an art. You take your time with it. Uh, well, you got a hungry wife who can't eat. Now you have a little baby who has to eat too, and also grandma. So it's like you know. That's when she gets impatient. You can't just yeah. Well, hey, okay. And that's what starts. We ain't got two hours to be spending in the kitchen cooking. You know what I'm saying? Like making a sandwich, like spiffy. You know what I'm saying? Just spiffy. But he does. He does cook very well. Just mm -hmm. Like who's who's cooking for Valentine's? Huh? Who's cooking for Valentine's? Well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, tell them the menu. Oh man, I'm I'm kind of nervous, guys, because it's a lot. It, it's I'm a not lot. Not to eat it. Well, I'm not. I'm not saying that because I'm not gonna eat. I'm saying because of the time. That's why. This is the other thing. You're gonna have to get up early to do that. Yeah. And him and waking up early just don't. If I gotta, just don't. If I gotta work, I'll be up early. If I don't, I'm out. Anywho, we'll give him that. Am I telling the menu? Huh? The menu for tomorrow? Oh yes, yes, sir. Prime rib. 
can't do prime rib in its state. Mm -hmm. Crab legs, butter garlic shrimp. We're gonna do her mom's famous potato salad. salad. I love it. Some other stuff. That's pretty much like the main course. Yeah. Better morning person. Me. Yeah. Heck yeah, me. Yeah. For she, sure, me. She's up with that. I love mornings. I'm not gonna say I'm the best at waking up early <laughs> all the time, but I do love mornings. Precious, you know it. Better driver. Precious put him, but I do better on Monokai. <laughs> <laughs> she does better on Monokai. Who, me? Yeah. I would do better here if you would just let me drive. He's the type that will actually come bumper to bumper with you, okay? No matter if you're going on the highway or the back road of Kapole, like he will be on your Okole every second of the way unless he has like another lane to cut you off. That's a walk for you. That is the problem. No, no, when you have a little seven month old baby in the back of your car, don't catch him with this road rage monster, mm. guys. Pray I'm practicing on that. Most competitive. Me. Me. You? Yeah. Actually, yes. Especially when we get to like monopolies and stuff, like games. It always has to be first. You always have to be first in everything. Have to be. It's a problem. It's a problem. Hey, in some ways, it's a, it's good to be to want to want to be the first. And... Depending on the situation, I eat a poor Yeah. Well, Period. What? You always want to be first in life. <laughs> Are we almost done? Um. Aww. Funniest. No, obviously me. No, okay, there's My different buddy. type of fight. Different type of fight. He doesn't laugh at me. Like, I could be singing the most obnoxious... That's guaranteed. No. I could be singing in the most obnoxious way. The other day when we were driving home, <laughs> and I was singing, I can't remember what song I was singing, but I was singing it like, I will just randomly bust out in song. You know, I don't have to sing. But, but she's, she's singing goofy. Yeah, very goofy. You know, keeps things, keeps things light. Keep things, That's you know, happy. Biggest pet peeves. Keep things spicy. When well, you don't say anything, so I don't know not to do it because you don't tell me it's one of your pet peeves. When people don't sing on the key. It's my biggest pet peeve. Well, anyway, I sing. I mean, I don't know if I want to share my talent on here right now, but just know it's not on tune. <laughs> And then when I see Havala, she just makes me want to just bust out in that song. Off tune kind of song. So that's her type of goofy. Well, because, what was the question? Funny. Funniest, yeah. I know I can be funny. Even jokes, like, I'll, I'll say something or I'll do something and I'll look at him and he'll be like... <laughs> and I'll be like... That was supposed to be funny. Why don't you react to it somehow, some way? Like, no, this is the most he's ever laughed at me ever. Today, anyway. My goofy is. You're goofy. Your goofy is goofy. So what was that? A draw? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, I guess so. Sure. Who is more social? Me. Yeah, that's true. No way, bro. You're Mr. Aloha. I call you Mr. Aloha. All no, that's the only time. when I see people that I, that I know. Yeah. Social means that you'll just go and talk to anybody. Now, if somebody initiates a conversation with me, then yeah, it's, I will talk and I can talk for days. It's the same thing, though, no? because then you'll spend like however long balaau kahakalao into these kanaka all like, the time. Like that couple that and I'm like, personally in Target. Hello. Talking about the car scene and we we're there for like what? Yeah, well, you didn't know them at all, yeah. so you cannot say that for that. No, I mean, yeah. But the problem with that is he doesn't know how to end the conversation. He doesn't know how to say, okay, I gotta go buy. He just keeps going and going and going and going and going. I'm just like, I don't know, just make something up. Just say you get cool Anna or you gotta go someplace or So we both have a lot of stuff to say and then we're like, okay. And then it's just like an awkward silence. I'm I'm good with conversations like that. I'll just say, Well, you know, it's good to see you, you know, Mahalo Noe, take care, God bless, see ya. Him, he'll stay there until you say something else and do, and then make conversation off what you're saying. And I'm like, babe, we gotta go. Was that a draw? What was the question? <laughs> Who's more social? Social wise, that's you. Yeah. You're a social butterfly. Okay. You'll, you'll go. Oh, I'm a butterfly now. <laughs> <laughs> um, where was your first kiss? Do you remember? Don't even. You can't even. Don't even think that, that hard. Dude. Um, wait, wait. I give you 10 seconds. Oh my gosh. Movies. Gents? Mm -hmm. Oh. Tracks. No. Yes. It was tracks. It was on the beach. <laughs> that was a beautiful night. You know you're trying to get out of me when I dropped you off. Half and half beautiful. One, because it was freezing. And this brother was over here like, oh, are you cold? I'm like, no, nah, I'm just shivering my butt off for no reason. And all we had was like a blanket down and he was wearing a jacket and he was letting me wear the jacket. But I was literally shivering. But it was beautiful because the moon was out and the waves were crashing. I was nice. But I was cold. And we, no, I remember, we were hanging out on the blanket and I was just laying there and he was like right here and I'm thinking like- We're in this position again. Are you gonna? I was this way. Yeah, I know. And he, oh. That's what I'm saying. Oh. I'm you and you're me. We were that way and I was laying there and I thought, okay, uh, you're literally two inches away from my face. And then I said, are you gonna kiss me or what? And then he said, oh. <laughs> and then- I don't wanna be rude. 
don't know, bro, but I mean, I you know. being rude, not kissing me, you're literally. Hey, that was my my second date. Yeah, the second date. Second date. Well, we're fast. Kissing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right now, so. <laughs> full on baby. It wasn't old. Full on parents, guys. Full on parents. You Ooh. were. Where are we? Who initiated your first kiss? Yeah, we Where we already answered that question. How long did it take to get serious? Oh, yeah. I guess I remember the date too, December 3rd. What? I asked if I could court you. Oh, yes. If it means how long did it take to get serious, like marriage, it took a while because we were long distance. Mm -hmm. So we had to be that way for a long time because I was still a Molokai. There really was no place for me to be here just yet. And I was still very much committed to my job on Molokai. His grandma respected Respectfully, did not allow obviously us to be together if we weren't married. Oh. I didn't leave till about a year or so later. And then I ended up moving in with him, but we had to be separate. We couldn't be in the same room together, all that kind of stuff. Not so. in the same room, but you slept on the bed and I slept on the floor. Yeah. So even then, we still were distant. So. Yeah. At least she was here. And we saw each other every day. Mm. Every that was night so. We sleep. It was so. And it was so oh different from just being like this and sleeping. Horrible. Horrible. I would never ever recommend doing that. I mean, if God leads you to, even then. In, better be prayed up and I mean covering and accountability and all that stuff but that was ridiculous and and then all the stuff we were fooling around and all the kind of stuff in between didn't even help either guys so that's a whole nother video I'm very thankful for where we are now mm -hmm. and the baby that we have in the house and oh my god bless it hmm? I love this next question I'll read it who was the first one to admit when they were wrong? me okay not actually, all the time actually sorry when I'm wrong and when I'm not wrong <laughs> not all the time. Just get through the day. Okay, not all the time. Gotta survive here. Mm. Who wears the pants in the relationship? She does. I'm trying to give it to you. Like, I'm trying to give you the pants. No. Okay, I'm trying to give the pants to you. I she am. gives me the pants to fold it and then give it back to her. To no, 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 no. You can't say that. You know that we've had conversations about me trying to let you lead and be the man and step up. And I have been trying. Trying big parentheses around the trying. It's done. Like I'm, I'm done doing that and trying to be that and being the alpha. Cause I have very strong women in my family. And if, if you know anything about having strictly women, oh my gosh, you have to wear the pants on the mom and the dad side. There hasn't been a man in my family for years. And even if there was, they all up and left or either died. My dad died. So there was really no constant relationship from a man in my family for oh, decades. Having him in my life now, you know, and then when you talk about marriage and then being a father and all that kind of stuff, it's taking a lot for me to relinquish that control because I've always known to be the alpha and to be the man because I've never had one. So, you know, it's taking a lot for me. It's still a growing thing and it's, it's tough. I mean, it's tough letting go. And I think women in general are just prone to being independent and being, you know, hands on everything and having to have everything the way that they want to. But it's just, oh, it's so freeing when you can finally let it go. And it's not that I'm coming under him as less than, I'm allowing him and giving him room to grow and giving him, trying, okay, trying, not perfect at it, not good at it, I'm trying. So relinquishing control, letting it go, right? <laughs> Did you go to the same school? What kind of school? Did you go to the same school? High school? No. Elementary? No. Preschool? No. No school. Yep, no. Well, we did go to Kulanoi together though. I guess that counts. Yeah. Sort of. Where's the furthest you two have traveled together? Um, Big Island. <laughs> <laughs> Mokunui, that's it. It's the farthest. Not the only place that we're going to travel to that's the farthest, mm -hmm. but you know, we, we do want to travel. At least get it to California. I mean, yeah. at least a Disneyland for crying out loud. He's never, never left. I've never left. Hawaii. Never left Hawaii. I, you know, I have been to Kohola, though. Not a lot of people can say that. Yeah, that's so. true. Me too. I had an opportunity to go and it just went. I know, I just missed the boat, I guess. Literally, because you have to catch a boat yeah. there. <laughs> wow. Oh, is that the end? Yep, that's it. Nice, Valentine's Day challenge. Well, that was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a nice little refresher. All right, guys, that's the end of the Valentine's Day challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed, got a laugh, got to know us a little bit better. Oh my gosh, it's just AC, come on. Praise God. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload. And I hope you guys have a great, lovely Valentine's Day tomorrow. Today, actually, because I'm going to try and get it up tomorrow, which will be today for you. And no matter the relationship status, guys, single, dating, married, Jesus still loves you. This man is a gift to me. He's so good for being so patient with me. And 
I'm crazy, guys. I'm crazy. I'm nuts. I'm all of the things and more, so I'm very grateful for him being just you. To have come as far as we have with the kid that we have now. Such a testimony. We love you guys. Anything else you want to say? Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed having hubby here with me. We gotta get him on more videos. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. We hope.